hey guys welcome to coding simplified and now we have a new question a link list so basically we have given a link list which is sorted on the absolute values so like if you see here this is basically sorted value right we have 1 then we have 3 10 but they are on absolute value they are not a normal value so if you see here that we have a minus 3 and here we have minus 13 minus 23 and 16 right so if you, whenever you say absolute value it means we are ignoring 3 so that is right if you ignore the minus if you ignore the negative value then this is sorted now we need to sort it on the actual value so if you convert it with the actual value what you would say you the lowest term in this linked list is 23 minus 23 so it would basically start from the minus 23 then minus 13 then minus 3 1 10 and 16 right right so this is the question that we have a linked list which is sorted on the absolute value and now we need to sort it on actual value right so one way is simple that basically we can use the merge sort and through merge sort we can do this right but the complexity in this case is n log n right so if there is a way through which we can improve this complexity from n log n to o n then that is a better solution right so yes we have a better solution through which we can solve within big of n because uh, we can use the functionality we can use the thing that this is already sorted on the absolute value right so uh, let's see how to do that so if you observe here what you will do will start from the head node and whenever you find the negative value so basically we'll will append that will append this before the head node right so like in this case uh, this is a positive value now this is negative so basically this minus 3 will come before the head node and this will be the head node so you can see here minus 3 is before the head node which is 1 now go again so now 10 is there so now we won't do anything with the 10 so 10 is shifted as it is right now we have minus 13 so again because this is a negative value so s just put it before the head node so now this minus 13 would put before the minus 3 because now minus 3 is the head node right because we know that th these are sorted on the absolute value so obviously this minus 13 would be the lesser than the minus 3 or this would come before the minus 3 right so that is why that is why we are saying that whenever you find the whenever you find the negative value just put it before the head node and if you find the positive value so don't do anything right so now like in this case what would happen again this is a negative case so we'll put this 23 before this 13 which is the head node so at the last we'll get the 16 so we won't do anything right so this is the basic logic that we will implement now there are some more cases to it this is the basic cases of positive cases but now let's see some of the more cases more cases means let's say if our link list is null so if our link list is null so we'll send null right or let's say if we have only single node whether it is positive or negative so let's say if we have only single node this is minus one or one so again we can simply return it because in that we can't do anything because we have only single node right now there can be cases when when the starting node is the head node and the head node is negative one right so when the starting one is a negative case what we will do we will basically start our iteration from here right so this is these are the three cases that we need to handle explicitly otherwise all things will work as fine so now let me show you through code that how I'm doing it so uh, here I have this function sort which is sorted on absolute value and here I'm passing the head node right and again as explained I have this six node where I have uh, 1 minus 3 10 minus 13 minus 23 and 16 right so now I'm checking if my head is null or if my head of next is null then simply return head I I don't do to uh, we need not to do anything right else I uh, take three variable node next and previous uh, so at the starting node or next will point to the head node and previous will be null right so now we are saying if our head of data is uh, less than zero or if our if our head of data is negative in this case just assign previous equals to node and node will be the node of next right so that we need to handle 
Now apart than this, we'll check one by one until node is not null, that if node of data is less than zero. In this case, like I explained, the previous dot next will point to the node of next, and I will take next equal to node of next. Now node of next equals to head, right? So basically, now node of next will point to the head node. This is this case because uh, this is our node. So now this minus three will point to this head minus one. This sorry one. Right, and then we'll change the head equals to node and node equals to the next node. Right, and then again it will iterate for one by one. Right, so now uh, let me show you again how it will happen. So basically this will start from the one. So now one is positive. Now it will go and minus three. So now minus three is node one. So this is negative one. So what it will do? It will basically minus three. This one will point to ten, and this minus three will point to one. Then it will go with ten. So ten is again positive. Don't do anything. Now our node is here. So now this is minus 13. This is negative. So this 10 will point to 23, and this minus 13 will point to head, which is minus 3. So now again we are at the negative value. Again this minus 23, this 13 will, uh, minus 13 will point to 16, and this minus 23 will point to head, which is 13. And at the last we have the positive value. Right. So now let me show you again uh, with the debug that whether it is working fine or not. So it starts from here, and it will check that if head of data is not null, the year less than zero. So it will check. Okay, previous node, node of next. Again, then it will check for the negative value, which is so this is doing for the negative value. Then we have positive value. So in positive case, just update the previous and node, right? Again, we have negative, which is our negative is minus thirteen. So basically, the previous of next will point to node of next. Next will point to node of next, right? And guys, once you uh, please write your code in your Eclipse or on any ID and just do it, yeah. And and just debug it. You will find out that uh, we are how we are doing it, right? And then at the last we have the positive values, and at the last node is null, right? So if you print the list, you can see here that now we have uh, so it started from the minus twenty three, minus thirteen, minus three, one, ten, and sixteen, right? So now let's check with some negative test cases. So let's say if I am checking with a null. So in this case, what would happen? It would simply return me. It would check that if head equals to null, then simply return head, right? Now let's say if my starting one is negative, and if I am checking the uh, value, right? So in this case, what will happen? That it will go here. It will check that head of data is less than zero, and it will update, and then it will execute as it is, right? So you can see that. Here, this is also worked fine, right? So uh, this is this is how we are we have solved all the cases. And now, if you talk about the time complexity, so basically we are iterating the complete linked list once, right? From starting head node till the uh, last. So overall complexity is big of n, right? So that's it, guys, about this video. And if you have any doubt regarding it, if you have think that any cases had missed, so please write in the comment section, and I will try to explain that. And thanks guys if you have liked the video then please like it and subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you